In uh, this video, I'm going to share with you how you can fix that horrible playback lag in Premiere Pro by using proxies. Whether you have an older computer or a MacBook or a laptop that is just not handling 4K footage or 1080p footage very well, don't worry. I have a great tip for you. First, I'll quickly explain what a proxy is. When you create a proxy for a clip, Premiere Pro is downscaling the resolution. So for example, if you have a 4K clip or a 1080p clip, but it's very laggy on your computer, what you can do is attach a proxy to it and then downscale it to 720 or even 540, depending on how slow your computer is. The slower your PC, laptop or MacBook is, the lower you want the resolution to be in order to have smooth playback. But when you create proxies and you lower the resolution, this does not mean that the resolution of your actual clip will be 720 or 540. It is just for your project in order to edit smoothly. You can actually toggle the proxies on and off as you go. In order to create proxies, Premiere Pro uses Media Encoder. When you're done and it's ready to export, all you have to do is just export it as 1080p or 4K and you're good to go. The best way to create proxies is before you start a project, but if you are already editing and you're like, eh, kind of want to create proxies now, you still can, I'll show you that in a bit. But first, let's start with a new project. When you click on new project, you see this window here where you can fill in the name and just choose the location. But what is important here is that you go to ingest settings. After you clicked on ingest settings, you will see this little box that you want to tick and then you want to select from the drop down menu, create proxies. Now there's tons of presets that you can use and it really depends on how slow your computer is. So you can go for 720, you can go for 540. I'm going to go for 720, so I'm gonna click that one right there. And then you can choose a location for your proxies. So you can say same as project or you can go to location and then you create a folder and you call that proxies. That's what I do at least. And then you press okay. Now it is time to import the media and we do this by double clicking on this window. I have imported the clips and now what you can see is that another program just opened and that is the media encoder. Encoding your files can take a little bit of time. It depends on the file size. It depends on how many files you have. So just take your time and calculate this before you start editing your video. Because you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you have to edit the video now, but you have to encode everything and it's going to take hours and you get stressed. So make sure to calculate that beforehand. Now that that is done, we want to go to list view. And we want to click on this little bar that says name, frame rate, media start, all kinds of information. We want to right click on that and then click on metadata display. What we want to do now is we want to open the drop down menu of the Premiere Pro project metadata and then scroll down until you see proxy. And what you can also click on if you want is proxy file path and proxy media file name. By enabling those two, if you click on OK and you go back to list view and you scroll all the way to the right, you can find the information about the proxy, so where it is located and what the name is. I personally don't really care about those two. The only thing that I care about is that my proxy is attached, so usually I just take proxy. But if you want, that's the option, so we'll just leave it like this for now. It is very important when you create your sequence that you don't create it according to the proxy, but actually set it to the actual resolution, so to 1080p or 4K. After you drag your clips to the timeline, it is time to turn on the proxy. And we turn this on by clicking on this little button called Togo Proxies. If you cannot find this button because you're on a laptop, for example, you will see a little plus sign. And if you click on the plus sign, you can find yourself a proxy button that way. But what if you already imported your clips and you already started working on your project? Well, in that case, what we can do is select the clips that you want to create proxies for, right click on your selection, click proxies, and then create proxies. And this will get you there too. 
And now that your computer or laptop or MacBook can handle 4K or 1080p again, it is time to do something cool. I mean, if you wanna learn anything cool, make sure to check out this video. And of course, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell in case you wanna be notified. And so we can see each other in the next video. Right there.